Hello. Uh, it's Camacho, Lee Enjoyer. Uh, today, I wanted to show you guys some things that have really taken my Lee gameplay to the next level. Um, I recently got to Tekken King on PC with Lee on Ranked. And this is definitely one of the improvements that I made that helped me get there, and that's my wall game. Uh, we've done a lot of talking about neutral, about punishment, about movement, but haven't really touched on Lee's absolutely insane wall game. Lee at the wall is such a threat, and his damage is so insane that it, it's kind of like a no-brainer for me to make this video, and I'm honestly kind of ashamed that it took me this long, because it's such an important piece of Lee's game plan. Um, the very, very first thing I want to show you guys, right? So this is like the uh, usual one that I see people do the most. Down forward one, forward forward one. This, up back three. 45 plus 16, 61 damage. So 61 damage, not bad. Um, but if you're doing that one, fear not. There's something that he has that does better damage. And it's actually doing 434. I'm sure a lot of you guys know this one by now, though. Oops. But yeah, 434 does more damage. Oh my goodness. Yeah, 48 plus 16. Yeah, the numbers speak for themselves. Does more damage. The only thing you have to worry about is that since 4 is a, a like a high, high move, like it's a high-hitting high move, um, you just have to be aware because, if, like, if you get a far away wall splat with this, um, or like this, and they're slumped low on the wall, you're not going to be able to hit them, of course, as you see. Uh, so when you get that low wall splat, that's when you would do this. Because the down forward one hits lower to the ground, right? And it'll catch them. Um, speaking of this combo... I'm going to teach you guys something I learned from the Lee player Murakumo, who's kind of like a mad scientist with Lee. They have discovered so much tech with this character, and they basically just lab Lee. Um, yeah, mad scientist with the character, really, really good in the lab. He discovered this uh, new ender for Lee's combo, you know, so B and B, 4 3 4, a back 3. Um, that up back three, as you can see there, does 16 unscaled damage. But you see when Kazuya tech rolls, he kind of tech rolls away from the wall, right? So you try to pressure, and then he basically just gets out of the wall for free. And it's even worse if they step in the opposite direction, right? So, like, sidestep to that direction. You see, you try to pressure and you're basically getting pressured yourself for doing your wall combo um, it's a really annoying aspect of that wall combo that I've come to dislike a lot because there's so much that whiffs like try to do instant slide it completely whiffs um, you can try to do running running three now first hit just completely whiffs so if they wake up and mash anything you're getting floated or counter hit and it, in general, was just not fun to do your wall combo and then immediately step into wall pressure. But Murakumo actually has an amazing solution. And this one trick seriously, like, up my wall game. And that is, instead of using up back three, use down back three plus four. Right? So here. 48 plus 16, 50, 61. I believe, right? If my math is correct, should be 64. Yeah. So 64, but you lose all of your wall pressure. Um, but check this out. One less damage. One less damage. Literally one less damage. And look at how he teched, right? Here, I'll do him side by side. Up back three, he techs away, right? Down back three plus four, he's right in your face at the wall. And if you do running three, uh, as long as you aren't slow, you can just straight up like do it for free, basically. Like every time I've had people try to mash out of it, they've always gotten counter hit by instant running three at the wall there. I'm just, I'm trying to do it too fast, I think. 
yeah, like they got to take that wall pressure now. And it's weird because you see, I have it set to to uh, tech roll left, right? And even if I have this set to the left, he's still going to go the opposite direction. See? It's so weird. And the same thing happens if you do the opposite side, right? You see that? Like he tried to tech roll and basically just didn't move. So you're so what's the trade-off, right? You're sacrificing literally one damage, a singular damage, plural, or sorry, singular, singular damage in exchange for your entire wall okay or wall pressure, you know? Like it just seems like kind of a no-brainer for me. Um, I'm perfectly fine sacrificing the one damage if that means I get to mess you up at the wall, you know? So if, if you want to up your wall game, I would say starting right now, stop doing up back three and start doing down back three plus four because you will see results, especially if you can do instant wall running three. Down back three plus four, instant wall running three is so, so strong at the wall, especially if you're going into Hitman because you, you're plus six, you know? Like you can do this and this at the wall, counter hits. So it's a lot of damage. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Oops. Yeah, there's a lot of damage. Um, so it's really scary to deal with Lee at the wall. Also, some other tools for Lee at the wall. Uh, you've got moves like back 1-1 one, one is exceptionally good. If you watch the Lee player I'm Your Father a lot, Pretty much his entire wall pressure is just moving with the opponent at this range, right? Like the range 3, because like, or range 2.5 to 3. Because if they whiff anything, boom, boom, boom. Like, and it does a complete wall splat. And now there's mix-ups, right? So you can do this, you can do this, you can do um, this. You can just do single into nothing. Because remember, the single back one is neutral on block. And if you're neutral on block, 223 is kind of like a pseudo frame trap. If they do anything other than a jab, they get counter hit for that, right? And 223 counter hit at the wall is basically death. Like, yeah, like almost 70% for a 10 frame counter hit. Absolutely insane at the wall. 223 is so dumb. Um, you've got stuff like that. A hitman up forward three, which is also a heat engager, in engager now. You got FF3. You've got forward 2-1, also really strong, considering the second hit is hit confirmable, and it's only minus 9. So doing something like uh, like that wall combo. Uh, uh, uh. Oops. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. And then you check with forward 2. It's a complete frame trap. It's completely safe. And if it hits, you finish it, and you basically rinse and repeat. Oh, didn't hit. Cool. You know, if they jab, boom. Really, really strong. Like, doing this instead of this seriously is like that one link that just puts everything together for this character at the wall. Um, something else to keep in mind, for a lot of you who don't know, there's actually different kinds of wall splats, right? So this is a traditional wall splat. You know, they kind of slide down the wall, and then when they're fully on the ground, they can tech roll or spring or whatever they want, you know? But there is actually another kind, it's a wall slump. You see how he kind of falls forward off of the wall there? Um, that is completely different, right? So for example, we can get more hits off of that. This is the regular combo we were just doing. 74 plus 15 is 89, right? So 89 damage, but if we take advantage of that wall slump, oops. There we go. 81 plus 15, 96 damage. You're getting an extra 7 damage for that. Like, that's really strong. And you can do it with every move that gives you that, right? So, like, you can do it with Hitman up forward 3. Let's see? Perfect wall splat again. You can do this with forward forward 3. Um, I didn't do it there, but it is possible. 
forward two one, like all of it, all of the moves that give you that wall f forward slump, you can do back back four. Uh, you can also do back dash down two. Oh my goodness. This one is uh, probably a little bit easier than doing the back back four. I'm, I'm not making it look easier for some reason, but <laughs> I promise you it is easier than the uh, back back four. All right. We're going to get it this time. There we go. Yeah, so like that's doable as well. And you're still getting more damage than just doing the regular combo. Uh, the really messed up part is you can do this with 2-2-3 two, two, as well. 89 plus 15. Like, dude. <laughs> That's 104 damage. 104 damage for a 10 frame counter hit. 105. If you know it'll kill because of that one extra damage, you can go for that. But, like, you see how much more reward you get for the wall slump? Whereas, like, this does how much? 82 plus 15? 97. It just seems, like, uh, like, really worth it to me. Like, if you can land these tools at the wall, going for that back back four just, like, seriously takes your damage to the next level. And that, in, uh, in tandem with using this, like, Lee's wall pressure, all of these, this, like... Everything at the wall is so scary to get hit by with Lee because of the damage. And now with that uh, with that down back three plus four tech, you can keep it going, right? Boom, boom, and then that's a frame trap into another frame trap. Oh, hey, look at that! We we just took the other half of their life bar and they died. Lee Chellen, yeah. So yeah, wall pressure. Um, so there's quite a few different moves that do that. We went we went over a couple back back one or sorry yeah back one one two triple fang also double fang back one one plus two forward two one ff three um hitman up forward three uh so he's got quite a few moves that do this also some moves on counter hit right like this lots of damage Something else to be aware of is when you are not at the wall, or sorry, when you are not completely at the wall, right? Um, so like if you get a wall splat from this angle, oh wow, it straightened out. That was crazy. Here, we're going to have Kazuya follow, stand and approach. There we go. So we're a little off axis. You can also do something like that, you know, like... If you want to just completely convert off of the wall, that is something that you can do because of this, because uh, of the combo system. And if you want to, you can re-splat this way, right? Oops, I stepped too far. Right. So especially on stages like the arena where it's an octagon. Uh, these resplats do so much damage, right? So much damage. Uh, I'm going to give you an example. All right, so now we're on a stage that's a little bit closer, right? It's a circle. Um, so if you get one of those splats, you see, like, yeah, you can get so much, and you can you can be really creative, right? Like for this stage specifically, probably do something like th uh, something like this. Yeah, something like that, right? And if you can pos position yourself under the breakable wall, you could probably do so much damage that way. Oops. Something like this, maybe. Ah, I tried to step. Ugh. Oops. Boom, there you go. He, Jesus, 101 damage. Like, <laughs> I like that's not even optimal. I just made that up just now. <laughs> so yeah, like Lee's wall pressure is so good in this game. Uh, 
learning the different kinds of wall splats and adjusting the moves that you use during your wall pressure, you're going to see a lot of reward from that because going from this kind of damage for punishing something, 48 and what, that's like a third of health, to going into something like this, like, yeah, like it's... Like that, into the down back 3 plus 4, into continued wall pressure. Like, the difference is astronomical. If you start using these, I guarantee you, you'll see a lot more reward. You'll start killing people faster. And you'll start getting more counter hits, right? Because think about it. If they're just tech rolling away from the wall, they're not going to be as, as panicky. Because they're like, oh, I'm away from the wall. You know, there's not a whole lot he can do against me right here. Um, but if you keep that pressure up at the wall, they're going to be more distressed because they have to guess and they're more likely to press. Something else to be aware of is when you are not completely at the wall, right? This affects your combos, stuff like FF4, right? So one of the reasons that FF4 is difficult is because of the combo, right? It's slightly off axis and being off axis with leap hurts your combo potential a lot. Um, so like, Getting a lot of damage by from FF4 by itself is a little bit more difficult. But if you're at the wall, and the wall is to your left, you see, they don't roll away from you because the wall stops them. So you can just do this. And then you've got a completely normal combo because he's not off axis whatsoever, right? So on stages like Yakushima, which we are going to go back to, so as I was saying, on stages like Yakushima, where they're massive, this actually matters quite a bit. See, regular combo. And like that mixed with the heat, it seriously like, it makes being at certain angles on the wall like super, super dangerous against Lee. Uh, this works for a lot of the tools with that kind of stun, uh, stuff like this. but. This one, they're falling to Lee's right. So in this particular case, you would want to do it right here. Back three, three, completely normal pickup. And you get your whole combo, right? So like at the wall, if you're doing FF4, you do back three, three. Full rage, or not rage, sorry, heat. Yeah, over half life for FF4. I don't know like and plus the wall carry is, is so good you can like you can go really far with this because you got the uh, regular slap like yeah like the possibilities are endless right and uh, for something like up forward three four at the wall if the wall is to your right you get a completely normal combo from this because of this Yeah, here, I'm gonna try it again, cause uh, I wanna show you guys. Yeah, 100 damage. Also, being sideways at the wall isn't always all bad, because you gotta think, right? If the wall is to Kazuya's left, what way can he not sidestep, right, to his left? Because there's a wall in the way, so he can't step into the wall, right? The reason this matters is because that takes away counterplay to Lee. If the wall is to your right, all of the moves that are linear to sidestep left become homing because he can't step, right? The only way Kazuya can step is to his right, away from the wall which means that the only moves you're really going to want to use are moves that track to your left, right? So like down forward one, he's not going to be able to step away from the wall because down forward one tracks to that side. And he can't step to Lee's right side because the wall is in the way. So this is just a homing down forward one, basically, right? Stuff like this. Um, like magic four will also track in that way if you finish it for some reason. Um, so stuff like that, right? That awareness at the wall. Of course, this applies to the opposite direction as well, where all of the moves that would track in, uh, or sorry, that would be linear to sidestep right, Kazuya's right, Lee's left, are automa automatically homing now because he can't step that way. 
but you wouldn't really want to be in this situation because that is Lee's weak side that is completely open for them to step away but that just makes down two and FF4 completely homing and like we just discussed if they're trying to step away from the wall right here boom full pickup yeah so that's that's how that links together all of that in tandem with your wall pressure and your and your uh, new wall damage and your new knowledge of different slumps and splats and lions and tigers oh my and all that stuff go crazy <laughs> like all this stuff that I've learned about the wall with Lee has seriously elevated my game plan and since I've been practicing it and utilizing it in matches I have noticed a actual like substantial difference in how fast I kill people and how many uh, how many moves I land against them so yeah that's just some of the wall stuff feel free to go out and experiment yourself with anything you can find um, we're still learning a bunch but I hope that this stuff helps and um, I will see you next time. I hope you come check out my stream at twitch.tv forward slash super Camacho. And that's about it. I will uh, see you next time. Adios, adios. Peace, 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 peace.